I didn't bring a basket down here, silly girl. <laughs> wash clothes and um, also what I'm doing I'm going to show you guys is it's starting to get cold here in Missouri like it's cold now so I have I brought all of my clothes out the van today and I need to go through them um, I have both these bags of clothes and I need to go through them and start taking out my summer clothes um, and switching out summer clothes for fall and winter clothes. Uh, Mama Myra granted me a closet for now because I don't have a storage unit. So this is all my stuff. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so far this is all my stuff in the closet. I got my blanket here. I got another duffel bag. It's empty. I got I don't know why I bought two collapsible collapsible sinks. But I have another one that was just taking up space, so I put that in there. I think I bought one and then I think I forgot that I bought one. So I don't know. I I, I, I do stupid stuff like that. Um, here's some of my head wraps that um, I'll probably be using this winter. And so um, I've got some other stuff down here. I don't know if you guys can see. Um, there's a coop, my cooler over there. So that's what I'm going to be doing today because it's time to start getting ready for the seasons to change with outfits. Um, I know when I first started this van living, as far I had, first I had three of these things here. <clears throat> and I do like them a lot because they fit very well under my bed. I had three of them because I was just paranoid about having not having enough clothes and I realized it was just taking up entirely too much space. So the clothes that you see in the closet was in the third bag. And most of those are like skirts and stuff um, that I usually wear in the, don't ask me why, but I usually wear in the sum, in the winter, in the fall, because you can put on a nice skirt with some leggings and some boots and doctor it up with some nice shirts or whatever. Uh, I'm gonna change out my shoes too so I can um, have some boots in my car. Um, God, my nose is just itching, itching, itching. itching. Fascinating over here. <laughs> Why is it taking me all day to do these clothes? <sighs> I hate dealing with clothes. I do, I do, I do. 
you know, I think we're gonna continue this um, clothes thing tomorrow because I hate dealing with clothes. <laughs> I'm about to eat some chili and watch a movie with my mom. And, um, yeah, we'll worry about this mess tomorrow. <laughs> but I think it's working. I think by the time I'm done, I am going to have more space to put my, to include more sweaters and stuff for the fall and winter. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious, y'all. Come, come help me. We should have a clothes party. Oh, well, let me hang these up because I'm hanging these up. My mommy's. At my mommy's. Yeah. So. Welcome to Abia's mess that she'll get to tomorrow because she's just being lazy and procrastinating and don't really want to do it, but it needs to get done. And when it gets done, I'll be happy, okay? I know I will. So I'm going to focus on happiness when I'm done. Maybe that might motivate me. But for right now, TV sounds a lot better. See you tomorrow. I got Mommy Myra her own hot logic. Because <laughs> I love it so much. I had to share, hey! I had to share the love. Mm. She's going to love it. She's on opening her hot logic. I can't show her face because she got a bonnet on. She looked like a real grandma. <laughs> Look at that! She got a hot logic mini. Look at that! Yay! She deserves it. She feeds me quite often. Now she can cook meals at work, huh? How you like it, Ma? Yes, girl. They're going to be like, what you eating? I'm going to be like, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you like to know. Yes. All right. Mommy got hot logic. Thank you, baby. You're welcome. Rise and shine. Oops. All right. Time to get started. Time to get started on this clothes thing that I didn't finish yesterday. Still wearing the same shirt because uh, yeah, I ain't took a shower yet. I had my coffee though. We going down in Mama Myra's basement to get my clothes out the dryer. Yeah. I didn't bring a basket down here, silly girl. <laughs> Back at it, y'all. <laughs> oh my clothes off the try. Okay. We back at it. We gonna finish this today, huh? Hold on. Let me be right back. Mama Myra talking. already clean I just it's definitely whatever's in this bag is not as much as compared to what's in here and actually there's really don't look like there's a lot in here so I'm almost done guys and you know what I am seriously thinking that I downsized to where I don't know yet all my clothes can fit in one which remember I still have room 
in my van for two of these. So um, that would be more room for my sweaters and stuff. So, so far I've got my clothes piled up. These are all my pants, shirts. Uh, so far I got two sweatshirts and these sweaters here I usually keep in the office when I get chilly there. So those will be going to work with me on Monday. And that's a pile of tank tops and my mountain of underwear, which I covered to spare you guys, you know, yeah, a girl need a little, just a little bit of privacy. Okay, I got some. I covered those with a towel so y'all don't see those. And my jeans, I got some stuff behind me that's going in the closet. So yeah, making progress. Yeah, y'all see what my mama be doing to me down. She be enticing me. Look at this. Child, potatoes, fried chicken, and y'all, this is breakfast. <laughs> it's breakfast time. Got some waffles with some sugar free maple syrup, fried chicken, and potatoes. through all the clothes so I think this can all fit in one thing and I think I'm a you I have this divider here that I was using for socks and stuff but I think I'm gonna divide the pants on one side and shirts on the other so let's get to putting these rolls in here Okay, now that all my shirts are in here, it does not look like they're all going to be able to fit. Well, if I take this out, maybe do the pants this this way. Let's try that. Yo, I think it worked, y'all. Shirts going this way, pants going this way. Yes, and then I will have to use my other bag, though, for socks underwear and tank tops and stuff like that but I will definitely have room in that bag for my sweaters and stuff um, as I put them in there let's see if we can zip this baby up okay let's see oh one more thing I have a co-worker that makes these like potpourri pouches and they smell so good. She, mm, yes. So I put these in my bags to help keep my clothes smelling fresh. It zipped up easily. There's my clothes. Yeah. Y'all fail. Why y'all fall? Because y'all was just so impressed, huh? I know. That's done. So now I got my, a whole nother empty bag for my underwear, socks, and now room for fall and winter clothes. And as it gets colder, as it gets colder, I'll probably end up taking a little bit more out of here. Um, Cause I still do got some capris and short sleeves and stuff like that. So, but making progress, y'all. Getting ready for winter. Got all my clothes put away and I filled this other one up pretty good. I didn't expect to put that much stuff in here, but um, I did put all my undies in a Ziploc bag, that way they're together. And I probably got like, just too many undies. I mean, they're stuffed. So, I mean, there's really not a lot, lot in here. Um, Cause under all these towels, I have a mountain 
of tank tops because I don't know. I really like tank tops. So all my bras and stuff. I think this probably takes up space, but it works for now. It works for now. Um, but yeah, but I guess what I'll do is as I gain more um, winter clothes, I'll... There's still a lot of room left in here because these things do stretch. There's still room left in this one, too. Um, I'll be taking more of my capris and stuff out of here, um, you know, and replacing them with, with long pants, whatever. And these are just going to go in storage. Um, and one day I'll show you guys my garage. I don't know if I have enough room in there, but I'll sh no, not my garage. I call it my basement. But these are just uh, extra pillowcase. And I think this is just uh, maybe a fitted sheet, I think. Or just a sheet. I don't know. But those are extras. Those go in storage. So and it's just empty. All done. My, all my clothes are clean. So now we'll just move to the next step and put this stuff back in the vehicle. And you will see where I store my clothes. There's not a lot of light down here, so I don't know if y'all can see or not, but I keep my clothes in these two sections, my porta potty, and some more tiki. But this is where I put my clothes. I'm just, I usually. like this one this way right there that way I still have storage room up front here like for my vacuum cleaner and I usually store my porta potty on top I store my toilet paper and I'm gonna go get the other clothes back Okay, got the other clothes bag, and that one goes right here. Slides back, right there. Okay, whoo, child. <laughs> okay, so that's where I store my clothes. They got, this bag is the one I use probably the most. So in the morning, I just slide it out, unzip it, Get what I'm gonna wear and then put your blinky down and hide it so you don't see what's under the bed <laughs> okay mission accomplished it's getting colder outside so I'm thinking don't know if I'm gonna do it today or not if I have time but I wanted to go buy um, a down comforter twin size down comforter for a blanket and then I will need to get my sleeping bag from in my basement but when I do that that would be in a different video because I'm just gonna make that video a video about what I store um, in the stow and go away stow and go seats because um, I did take one out and I use it as storage and that's where my sleeping bag is. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna go get the down comforter now or later. Okay, not sure. But thank you for watching me and how I went through my clothes. <laughs> Trying to get ready for winter. Okay, this will be my first winter in my van. And I don't know nothing. Um, I've been looking up heating options and stuff, and I think I know what I'm going to do about that. 
I think I do know, but I haven't, um, that decision or that idea is not permanent in my brain yet. I do have a Mr. Buddy heater that runs off prote uh, propane. And I just, for me, it takes up a lot of space and it's just too much heat for the small space. Um, so I'm, I do have that option, but I also have another idea that I saw on YouTube, so I might try that option. Um, it does require purchasing some more stuff, okay? But anyways, it's all work out, I hope. And I do have a, I believe it's a 20 or a 30 degree sleeping bag. That's awesome. Um, so yeah, I did use that when I went on my first camping trip and that was early, early spring when it was still chilly outside and it worked wonders. Okay, so thank you for watching. Till next time, see you on my next video. Shalom, peace and blessings to all. All right, y'all, I'm at Ross's looking for, they only got full and queen, but it's a down comforter. Full and queen for twenty five dollars. That's my price. They don't have twin. I think I might have to go with that. That'd be cool. Yeah. I think I found my comforter. It's twenty. Five dollars. We're gonna go with that. Cause those up there are kings. Hmm. Huh. Yeah, that's all I need. And what's over here? Oh, these are all pillows. I don't definitely don't need none of those. Yeah, this is cool. Got it. And I definitely don't need none of this stuff. I just need a comforter to go with my sleeping bag.